Tom Nason. 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 Hmm. Right. I have my <clears throat> brand new all digital remote. Right. Are we ready? We need to rewind the video so that I can watch from the beginning. Right, we're ready. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Hello and welcome to the mind of Tom Mason. This is an intro you'll hear three or four times. And the reason why you're hearing three or four times is because it's on three or four videos. So, today's Saturday. This will be edited early morning Sunday. So today, I was, so I do my local college radio. Um, the college you go to is radio station and I listen to it when it airs, record it and then chop it down to just my voice. So when I do YouTube videos, I'll be able to just show clips off where it doesn't mention the name of the college because of my privacy. Uh, and so I learned today in After Effects how to do the audio spectrum, but for the whole video, rather than just a section of it, which is mind-boggling. And so I wanted to try this effect out to use on multiple videos. The way it works is I'll grab the video do all the audio effects and then go into Premiere, get the logo and put the logo on it. And a lot of YouTubers, so a lot of comedians, so Reese, James, uh, Tim Key and Harry Hill are the one that I can think of to the top of my head, officially release their radio shows on YouTube. So the, my plan in these videos is to get them onto uh, After Effects. Add the audio wave to it, add the logo, and then re upload it. That's it. Not trying to copyright, just to test the effect out and see how it looks. And then with those radio shows, so with Tim Key and Reese James, and then we'll bleep out all the swearing and do all the cuts. So that's transformative and changed, so it's more appropriate for my audience. And I think Harry Hill's more appropriate. Then once I've done that, I'll then go into um, my fan made. Doctor Who video, my fan Doctor's video, and redo that. So I'll make a remake of it on this channel because this is for random mind things. So then I've tested it all out. But enjoying the videos because I have enjoyed making them. I'm very excited. So onwards and upwards. I was pointing like to go onwards and upwards. I'll probably cut that bit. So onwards and upwards. Enjoy! I've been your host, Mind of Tom Mason. Enjoy either Harry Hill, Tim Key, or Rhys James, who's first. Only time will tell. It's the end of a long night in the pub for designated driver Luke Walsall, and it's about to get worse in episode one of All Bar Luke. That for the final time this evening, then, Lester, what's the damage? <laughs> My catchphrase. Huh? Eh? How, how can that be 45 notes? Well, what's the top rack then? No, no, pour it. I no, that's cool. I just thought it would be, you know, like the, the price of a normal drink. I no, of course I want it. No, you cram them in, mate. The more spirits he drinks, basically the better his birthday, I believe the phrase goes. <laughs> uh, do you have any, like, extra shifts this week then, Lester? Yep, I'll do that. Definitely. Great. What time do you want me then? <laughs> Hardly worth me going home. <laughs> yep, I'm getting them, mate. I, I tell you, if, if you put as much work into drinking as you do to... He's hung up. I was going to say something about him being unemployed. Um, they want four more bottles of Stella, please. Uh, yeah, yeah, add it, add, it to, add it to the card. And then we've got... Uh, Bates, your aftershock. 
Uh, yeah, exactly. Well, hey, <laughs> uh, Dave, an aftershock. Well, hey, <laughs> Maka, an aftershock. Yeah, hey, and uh, Lee, an aftershock. Hey, <laughs> and um, I've got my coke. Let's neck this lot quite quickly because um, some of us have got to work tomorrow morning. So get this down, you Lee. It's a top rack. It's got Malibu, um, vodka, whiskey about three kinds of whiskey. Uh, Leicester just basically put in a bit of everything on the top shelf. Um, martini, gin, um, I lost count. So <laughs> it's going to basically kill you. <laughs> Happy birthday, Lee! Um, just, um, yeah, I'd love to. Um, I I've got to get the crisps in first, but then, uh, yeah, let's uh, play pool. <laughs> Can I uh, get you both another Alco pot? No, it's, it's not. How is that a problem? <laughs> I'm going to the bar anyway to get the crisps in so I can... No, I'm not generous. I'm just, um, you know, it's, there's no point dying and just lying in your coffin with an extra six quid. <laughs> All right, lads. <laughs> Sorry, it took me about ten years. I was just chatting to... Um... What's up with Lee? What do you mean? He's, he's folded right over. What? No, he's not. Because he doesn't fold like that when he's fine. The only time I've seen him like this is when he eats eggs. Because he's allergic. Um, Lee, are you, are you right, mate? Here, Bates, um, help me unfold him. Lee. Uh, Macca, I... Well, that's the only thing I can think. It must have... Maybe, but look at his lips. No, sh shut up, everyone. Let me think. The only... The only thing... Did anyone crack an egg into his drink when he wasn't looking? Look, my brother is folded and his lips have gone redder than normal. Um, well, look how red his lips are. He looks like a supermodel. I'm going to go and bring the car around to the front. Uh, Lester, there's, there's been a horrible um, administrative error. Well, I just went out to my car and it's been clamped. It's... Yeah, it's got a clamp on it. My Fiesta. I mean, I thought you or Anne would have recognised it and asked me to move it or else just let me keep it there. And I didn't expect you'd clamp it. <laughs> I mean, why? Yeah, I, I, I put it in the staff bay on purpose. I know I'm not tonight, but in general, I got confused. I thought the rule was if you work here, kind of, in general, then you could park your Ford Fiesta there and it wouldn't get clamped. Can't... I can't afford that. Um... Balls. Um, mate, <laughs> I'm going to be driving all macro in that lot. Um, oh, it's a tricky one. Um, uh, Lester, well, um, you couldn't just do us a favour and just take the clamp off, could you? I know, but I am staff. This is the frustrating. <laughs> Hang on, they're all gesturing at me to go over there. Nah, I'm not. I, no, it, it, it seriously is. Um, well, because, you know, Lester was just doing his job and that meant that the red beast got clamped. So, we, 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 what we can do is we can all just yomp back to mine and um, crash there. No, I know, I'm just trying to... No, t no, seriously, Bates, that fiesta's going nowhere. T t to be honest, Bates, I don't want to even try it because... Because I can't imagine it working. I've never seen a car that's been clamped going along. So that's what, that's what I'm doing. I'm, 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 I'm trying to think of a way. I know it's... Well, think about Lee! Wait, where's Lee? Lee? Dude. Um, um, can you speak? <sighs> um, see, I'm, I'm just going to manoeuvre you under this bit of um, uh, ledge. If you just keep breathing and swallowing, <laughs> okay, then there. <yeah. laughs> um, it's just so your hair wax is mixed with the rain, so making sure it doesn't go in your eyes. Yeah, but this is it. I mean, instead of instead of just treating it like a classic joke. Maka, why not think about a few words like loyalty and should we have forced him to drink that expensive drink? <laughs> um, I think I'm going to go crawling back to Leicester. 
No, I haven't come crawling back. I'm just... I've got a bunch of problems. No, very, very good, no specific ones. Um, Lee's... Can I bring him in just until everything's sorted out? Because um, because he gets cold when he, he gets left in the rain. And it's not his fault, it's literally the egg. He's, he's the same if he's had a sponge cake. Um, is there any way you can release my wheels then for less than 90 quid? Come on, let's go. I need to drive Lee back home and get him sorted out. He's totally spanned because of his allergy. I think... I think one of the lads cracked an egg in his drink. The what? Well, well why did you put that in? Mate, his lips are brown. No, I'm not blaming you. I'm... Why are they making liqueurs out of egg? Well... No, because now he's folded over and... No, I'm not getting an ambulance because... I can't because he... It's like Reservoir Dogs. They couldn't take Tim Roth to a hospital. I mean, that was, that was the whole point. He'd done an armed robbery and you can't take a felon to a hospital, Lester. Underage drinking. They'll cuff him as soon as I see him. I, I need my wheels. Um, I mean, can we do it like this? If I pay you 20 quid or something now and you unclamp it and then I drop the crew off in Burwell and Load, run Lee home to Mum, bring the beast back here, you reclamp it and then I'll walk home. Then I can get some money off me, old dear, and get it permanently unclamped in the morning. And then I'll remember to park it in the right bay, depending on whether I've got a shift or not. Wicked. No, 30 is fine. Um, can I sign my card off, please? Jeez, did they get an extra round then? No, that's cool. No, I did. I did authorise that. Hi, Hayley. Uh, yep, I can't stop really again because my life's... Excellent. It's a good shot. <laughs> it's hard to get the black in at the right time. Am I? Well, showing my age. <laughs> um, because sometimes when you when you hit your twenties, you sweat when you're stressed. Sorry, your uh, your pigtail was just um, dipping in your drink. Uh, no, don't worry. That's that's what I'm here for. Um, look, I'll, I'll see you next Friday, most probably. I'll get my brother and meet you by the car. All right, Lee. Uh, it's almost over, mate. Um, let's go. Oh. Right, good. Um, just to let you know what's happened, um, I've been clamped, and I'm now taking a little bit of um, thirty quid out of your um, sort of um, money pouch, and um, um, you're a bit sort of um, mangled because Lester accidentally fed you egg in the form of avocado. Um, I'm just going to put you down for literally a second. Hey Dave, um, can you just help haul um, Lee in mate? Cheers. Huh? No, I wasn't talking to anyone, I was just no, I swear, Dave. She just said goodbye, so I said it back. Ah! Chill out, man. Okay, let's drive. Let's drive everyone home. You may have to do the gears for me, Pates. All Bar Luke was written and performed by Tim Key and produced by Seb Barwell. All Bar Luke is an Angel Eye production for BBC Radio 4.